Hello. Cameras on, please. Good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Cameras on, please. Hi, Leo. Cameras on, cameras on. Music, open up music. Cameras on and open up music. 6.01, page number three. Music. 6.01, page three. Please open up the lesson. How is everybody? Happy that it's Friday? Yes, I am. I'm happy that it's Friday. I enjoy my weekends a lot. I'm happy that I'm going to be leaving to South Carolina to visit, visit some family members today. Today, okay. How far is that from where you are right now? Mm, like about like uh five no not five um probably about like 10 hours or 11 and, hours. and are you going by road by flight mm -hmm. by road by road okay so it's a long drive yeah okay i hope you have a safe trip and that you enjoy you. meeting your relatives. You're welcome. Anything else that anyone else has planned out for the weekend? Anything? Any plans? Any anything exciting happening? Yes, yes, Mina. Um, my cousin Discovery World like asked her to do something for um because of our like country. So like they asked her to do like a little like part in Discovery World about our country and everything, and that's happening tomorrow. Very nice. So is your cousin in school? Is she working? How did Discovery World ask her? She's in college. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. That's very nice. Exciting news. Anything else that anyone wants to share? Any plans for the weekend? I gotta track the championship. What championship, Juliana? Just a small um three towns are going to um a big track in Wake Forest. Track in Lake Forest. Who's going on a track? I didn't get that part. Um just three um teams from Three different um towns in North Carolina. Okay, nice. So you'll be watching that for the next two days. How long is the championship? Two days. Two days. Okay. So Juliana, Ella, um, Yasmina, and Ava have something to do. What about the rest of you? Are you going to sit at home, study, or are you going to go play? I have a question. I submitted the music project, edit the work, but I also clicked it because. Mm, I have a question. And I did the work, but I clicked it because I saw you gave me a zero, but when it came, I don't know how that happened because it. Yeah. So that's why I gave you a zero because I didn't get it. You and someone else. Okay. I can give you a chance to redo it, but I only have it as a blank thing. So if you can see it in the comments, in my comments, you would have seen that. I, I don't I see. Kyosin, I um, I I did. I completed it. But I don't have it. I don't have it. When I open your assignment, it's a blank 
sheet with lots of questions. There's no answers in it. I can't give you marks for the questions, right, Leo? What? I can't give you marks for questions, right? Can you unmute and speak to me? OK, yeah. But let me know once you find it, and then I can give you a chance to resubmit it. Uh, Leo and Ava, OK? Ava, you're the other person I remember now. You handed in two assignments. The first assignment was fine. I got your submission with answers. The second okay. one was only the questions. So I've, I've given you also a zero. All right, that's fine. Yes, so you need to do it again, OK? I don't have the answers. It's just a blank sheet. I'm going to sheet with us the question, so I need you to do the answers. Yes, yes, Mina? Before we start, can I go get water? Yes, you can. But um, can you reopen it? Yes. Do you have it? Do you have the completed assignment? Yes, yeah. because I, I did. Uh, yes, because I did it, and I don't know why it didn't uh, copy down in the submission thing. So you have it with you right now? To resubmit it. Yeah, I, I have it. I just need to click Not submit it. because I, I know I did it. But... Okay. So I'll open it up for you. Uh, in the meanwhile, can everybody else open up music? I've shared it in the chat. We're doing music 6.01, page number three. Do you have it open? Does everybody have it open? Yes, no, please respond. Elijah says no. Elijah, let me know when you have it open. Please let me know when you have it open. OK. So music and exploration pro project. That's the one, right, Leo? 5.03? So that's the one you I have uh, it as. Yeah, I only have it as just the questions. So you can also see it, right? You only have the questions there. There's no answers. Okay. I'm gonna yeah, but I, I found it. the one. I found the one uh, that has them. Okay, fine. I'm gonna give you the retry option. Okay, try now. You have a retry open now. Okay, you can submit it after the class. Right. Does everybody else have the lesson open now? Yeah? OK. We will start now. If you have any doubts regarding your assignments, you can go through your grades and then let me know whenever you want to ask me a doubt like Leo did right now. The rest of you can also go through your grades and come back to me if you have any queries. Eva, you would need to do it again. So once you have the test ready, answers ready, let me know and I'll give you a retry. Okay. I'm sharing my screen. We are on page number three in 6.01. We're looking at rhythms around the world. We finished like, looking at the Turkish wedding dance. That's where we stopped. And we also looked at the syncopation, this one. But we will start here. OK, we'll start here. The Turkish wedding dance. And then from here on, this is where we're going to start. I hope you have the lessons open. We have three, six, seven, yeah, all present. Very good. Let's start. The first one. Sometimes musicians emphasize notes on the beats. Other times they emphasize notes that start between beats. This is called syncopation. It adds a unique sound to music and is popular in dance tunes. So we listened to this one in the last class. But I'm going to play it again because it's only 13 seconds. And so you can remember, we'll start off with a recap. A recap. Just a minute.
Okay. I will play the music now. Did you hear it? There was a tick, 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 tick beat, and in between there was a piano coming in. Okay, that's what they are referring to as syncopation. See, when a music musician emphasizes notes that begin between beats. Okay, the next one, Red Willie Smith used a syncopated beat at the beginning of blues style. Try tapping along. The song feels relaxed and a little off kilter. This syncopated beat is popular in blues music. Please listen. Look the old Lou Gun way down. I look the old Lou Gun way down that don't roll. Or oh, the place I used to live, then I can't live there no more. My house fell down, then I can't live there no more. My house fell down, then I can't. Okay. Did you like that? No, no, no. Okay, most of you didn't like it. I was. I think I liked the music part, but I didn't like it when he started singing. Okay. All right. Let's move ahead. Page four. Rock and roll rhythms. Lisa, can you read the first two paragraphs? And after that, Ariana, can you read the next two, please? Which paragraph? Uh, I want Ariana to do three and four, Lisa to do one and two. Um, the, the rhythm is a big part of rock and roll, which which go out of America, blues, gospel, and country music. Rock has a, has a steady pulse that that makes it that makes it energetic. Musicians use electric guitars, drums, and vocals to create exciting rhythms. They, they let's listen to some types of rocks uh, rock and roll that have uh, grown over time. In the early in the early years, rock and roll was loud and and, ha and had a fast tempo. People danced to it. Technology like microphones and electric guitars was new. They created sound that was different from the classical music music people had listened to before before this time. Thank you. So we're looking at rock and roll and the different types. Okay, different types of rock and roll, how it changed over time. So initially it was loud with a fast tempo. People danced to it. Later on, it uh, got added technology, microphones, tech, electric guitars were added to it, and it created a sound that was different from the classical music people had listened to before this time. Okay, any doubts? Does anyone have any notes? No. Okay. Ariana, please read the next two paragraphs. I listen to Rock Around the World by. Bill Haley in the comics, the guitar plays the rapid rhythm, the drums created a syn syn syncopated. Syn syncopated, feel much like blues music. Um, the guitar improvises a solo in the middle. Surf rock began in Southern Carolina, California in 19... In the 1960s, bands like the Beach Boys and the Surf Surfers um, used heavy sound effects, bass guitars, and repeated rhythms to create songs with 
with a carefree beachy sound. Listen for the guitar rhythms and drums and wipe out by the surf music. Okay, thank you. So, rock and roll. Uh, we have to listen to Rock Around the Clock by Bill Haley and the Comets. And then we'll try to understand how the guitar plays a rapid rhythm and the drums create a syncopated feel, much like the blues music. What's a syncopated feel? What is syncopation? We just covered it now. Leo, what is syncopation? Unmute. Are you there, Leo? Okay. So, Leo, um, I understand right now, but this is not going to work for all our classes. So, please tell your family that you need to be in a quiet space, okay? Did you understand? You will need to inform them that, yes, it's only until nine, class is only until, okay, even then you need to still tell her that you need to be in a quiet space, okay? I understand she's got work. I understand that she is speaking to your sister, but you are in class right now. So please do tell her that, okay? Try to find a quiet space with just you. Okay. A desk in another room, maybe when myself. Okay. All right. Do you know the answer for syncopation? Can you type it into the chat then? Type it in when you can. Juliana, can you answer this question, please? What is syncopation? What is syncopated feel that they are referring to? OK, Leo, it's OK. Just listen and wait. Juliana, can you answer this? What is syncopated feel? Um, I guess it's like. I don't know. It's like a a variety of like different rhythms played together to make whatever like a piece of music. And okay, I don't know. Okay, um, can you uh, wait a minute and can you read this, Juli uh, Juliana? What is syncopation? When a musician emphasizes notes that begin with beats. Begin with beats or between beats? Between. Yes. Now, did you understand? Yeah. Please pay attention, children. This is what syncopation means. OK? Notes played between beats, OK? So this was the one where I played the music. I'll play this once more so that you try to remember what syncopation is. Do you remember now? Can you recall? Yes. Can I get a yes from everyone, please? Yeah. You have different notes okay if you listen to the piano notes they are different they are not the same notes that are being played different pitches different notes like a b c d e different notes uh, piano notes are played between the same consistent beat got it 
I'll play it for you once more. Please listen. The beat sounds the same. The tick, tick, tick. That sounds the same. There's no difference if you listen to the beat alone. But if you listen to the piano notes, you will say that they are some of them are high pitch, some of them are low pitch. They are different notes. Okay. Please listen once more. Got it? Yep, this is incubation. Now, coming back to the next page, they've asked us to li listen to this song, Rock Around the Clock by Bill, Haley, and Comets. The guitar plays a rapid rhythm. The drums created a syncopated feel, much like the blue blues music. Okay? The guitar improvises a solo in the middle. This is what we're going to listen to now. Just a minute, there's an advertisement. Bill Haley and his comments. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. But it's that right so join me home. Okay, so could you hear that? The guitar had a very fast rhythm. There was a beat, the drums with the beat, and then there was a, one part where the guitar had a solo in the middle. Towards the middle, there was a very fast guitar mu um, music being played. Did you all hear that? Any doubts? Oh, okay, good. Let's move ahead. The next one we've been asked to listen to is surf rock. So it began in Southern Calif uh, California. What is surf rock? A style of rock music from Southern California that has electric guitars and a beachy style. That's surf rock. So try to remember this. Surf rock. So surf, like surfing, so beachy style. And rock, so electric guitars. Bands like the Beach Boys and the Surf Furries used heavy sound effects, bass guitars, and repeated rhythms to create songs with a carefree, beachy sound. 
Listen to the guitar rhythms and drums in Wipe Out by the Surferies. Let's look at this one. Okay, so yes, like Leo said, it does sound very familiar, like familiar to the songs in movies. Did anyone else think of anything else? Did it remind you of anything? SpongeBob, yes, definitely. I don't remember uh, watching the series ever. I just didn't like it. But I have seen all the advertisements and the music related to SpongeBob. Anyone else? Anything else? Did it? Did you like this kind of music? Did you all like it? Did anyone like this song? Uh, no. No. Lots of no's coming in. All right. Thank you. Thank you for the response. The next one, Latin rock. What is Latin rock? A style of music that combines rock with Latin American rhythms and instruments. So very simple, Latin rock. Latin rock combines rock with Latin American rhythms and instruments. Santana is an American rock band that combines rock with um, Caribbean music, blues, and jazz. The beat of my drum has syncopated beats that create a happy, energetic feeling. Santana collaborated with African drummer Babatunde Olatunji and played guitar in this song. Okay. Let's see. 
So combination, the beat of my drum, that's what we're going to listen to. Syncopated beats, happy, energetic feeling. So the band Santana and the African drama Baba Tunde and played guitar in the song. So they collaborated and played guitar, but it is syncopated beats. Please listen. So we'll stop here. Do you all hear it? The drums and the electric guitar and a shaker coming in? Yes? Did you all like And then there was also um, singing. There was a man singing. You could hear his vocals as well. Did you all like it? No. No? No. OK. Lots of no's. I didn't like it either, but yes. Could you understand the theory part, syncopated music? Yes? Did all of you understand the theory? Yes, Mina, what is syncopated? What does the word syncopated mean? Wait, can you say that again? Because you glitched. Yeah. What is syncopated? Can you speak louder because my internet's cutting off? Okay. What is syncopated? Syncopated? Mm -hmm. Wait, was it the one where you said when a musician emphasizes notes that begin between beats? Yes, that's the one. Very good. Very good, Yasmina. That's exactly what it is. Okay? Notes that begin between beats when the musician emphasizes those notes. So could you hear that in this? Did everybody notice that in this one? Yep. OK, good. Let's proceed. 
punk rock has a harsh edgy sound it was popular in the 1960s and 70s along with punk fashion and artwork listen to oh by the linda lindas the girls sing with an edgy sound a fast tempo and lots of energy their guitars play low fast rhythms they are much younger than original punk groups and reach a new audience so this is punk rock which has an edgy sound and we're going to listen to a particular song oh by the linda lindas let's see Okay. What did you think of this one? Did it sound edgy? Yes, yes, Mina. It sort of sounded like the like old years type of way for their mean girls type of movie in their old days, like in the old old days. But that's what I feel like would be their definition of. Thank you. Thank you, Yasmina. I see messages in this uh, chat as well. Uh, hate it, but the lyrics are relatable. Yes, yes, I did. Uh, I didn't like it either. It was too loud, but yes, lyrics make sense. I think it would make more sense for you all when you're growing up than for adults. Yes, definitely. I remember feeling like this when I was growing up. It sounded like crap, yes. Jojo Siva, I don't know who that is, Ariana. 
Is that someone who sings like this? Is that a single person? Um, I mean, you could search it up if you want to, like, be disturbed. But yeah, it is a single person. Okay, and is it that bad? Okay, let's see. Weirdly relatable. Okay, she's the greatest music artist you will ever see. Okay. It's good that I don't want to <laughs> go check it out. But all of you all have given me a very good, uh, very clear description. Thank you. Now let's move ahead. Heavy metal has gravelly um, horse voices and loud bass guitars. It has a fast driving tempo. The drums play steady, repeated patterns. Listen to Dogs Like Socks by Psycho Sticks. Listen for the rhythm from the low bass guitar and drums. The lyrics create a rhythm too. Okay. All right, let's put a pause on the chat and continue with the next. Song. I got this is psycho sick dogs like socks. I'm a dog and I like socks. I like socks. I'm a dog. I'm a dog and I like socks. I like socks. I'm a dog. Give me that sock. I'm num num. Give me that sock. I'm num num. We are dogs and we like socks. We like socks. We are dogs. We are dogs and we like socks. We like socks. We are dogs. Dogs, dogs, dogs. Socks, socks, socks. Dogs, socks, dogs. Socks, dogs, socks. I'm a dog and I enjoy playing with socks for some reason. Don't judge me. We are dogs. We like socks. I'm a dog. I love socks. Pick up the sock. Then throw the sock. I'll catch the sock and bring back the sock. Pick up the sock. Then throw the sock. I'll catch the sock. Then bring back the sock. Pick up the sock. Then throw the sock. I'll catch the sock. Then bring back the sock. I'm a doggy. 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 I'm a
Does anyone have any doubts? All right, children, that's it for today. Happy Friday. Enjoy your weekends. Bye-bye.
Hello, good morning, students. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing good. So today we have a science class, and then we will go ahead with, yeah, science class, and then we have a physical education class. Am I audible? Can you guys hear me? Please turn on your cameras and unmute yourself. Uh, Ava, are you there? I, I cannot see any one of you, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I can only see Jay. Hi, Jay. It seems like it's just uh, you and me in the classroom. How can we submit the project? So, River, uh, I cannot see you. Just turn on your camera and I can tell you how you'll be able to submit the project. All right. Good morning, Yasmina. Good morning. Hope you're doing good. Uh, is your camera fixed, Yasmina, or you still have the issue? It just keeps kicking me out. So by next week, now I'll start using my computer. Uh, morning, Eva. Seems like you just woke up and you're putting on your glasses. OK. Uh, Sir Elijah. I hope you check the material and you're just uh, doing some stretches. Okay. Lisa, please turn on your camera. You're the only one who hasn't turned on her camera yet. Wonderful. All right, students, now let's go to comprehensive science and before I go to to the topic I want to see if any one of you has already given the retry so there was a retry for processes that shape the earth okay here we are I'm checking the grade book. So processes that shape the earth. Yeah, Juliana has given a retry, but uh, Lisa, Lisa and Ariana, you haven't given the retry yet. Elijah has given a retry, but Lisa and Ariana, you have to give the retry. All right. Now we are on land formations and landforms. So let me share my screen. Wait, what's our next class? Next class is physical education. All right, so advanced landforms on Earth. We discussed various landforms. And here we are. Okay, so we talked about agents of nature. We talked about we talked about uh, types of landforms. I don't know why it's why it's loading slowly. 
And we also discussed, uh, let me see, change in sea levels and how NASA majors the change in sea level. And we also talked about the sinking city of Venus. We plotted a graph. Yeah, this activity is done. And now today, today 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 we we gonna talk about yeah we discussed this also you know the the famous landforms i remember there was some rock garden in china uh, uh namibia a sand dune in namibia and there was this uh cliff and then hawaiian coastline yeah this is done as well now let's go to the final page and see what assessment we might be having and let's get done with this topic okay so this is a summary we're already done guided notes and there is an activity okay so there are guided notes and the assessment is basically okay let me check first of all this is not going to be a quiz i guess i'll give you time and you will yeah you have to submit the assignment so let me explain quickly what the assignment is and you can do it so you will have about 30 35 minutes and every one of you can submit this assignment oh, just a moment uh, my computer is running low i have to plug oh, just a moment All right, so, yeah. This is, this is the activity. You don't have quiz for this uh, particular topic. What you have to do is actually, actually, uh, you have to search around the globe for three examples of land formations which are shaped by surface event and you will create a presentation to demonstrate your knowledge on this topic you may choose to create a travel brochure a vacation scrapbook scrapbook or presentation using software be sure the following for each land formation you choose Okay, so I'll just drop it in the chat and you can submit you uh, you you can work on this and I will check if that's how can we sub uh, I'll tell you in the next class how you are going to submit the project. It's up to you like. If you want to do it, it's not that important. I mean, physical education project is not that important as this one. So uh, check out this one and you can actually, I have pinned the message in the chat. So your task like, is to search. I left the um, meeting a mistake because it kicked me out without me like knowing. Are we going to have partners? No, this is individual for for the uh, for the uh, science class. You have to do it individually, and I'll check the grading rubric. So this one you have to do it individually. You can start doing it right now, or if someone wants to do it.
and spelling is correct. So you can create a presentation, you can create a Uh, I'm sorry, my internet uh, went off for a while. So I was saying that uh, basically 35 points are possible for this assignment and your grammar should be correct, your spelling should be correct, then you will get full marks. And there are three examples that you have to, that you have to provide. So you can either make a Word document and attach some pictures with it. So basically this is what it says. Your task is to search around the globe for three examples of land formations which are shaped by surface events. And you will create a presentation. Uh, you can do a presentation later. And uh, today you will just create this document. I want you to enjoy during the weekend. So you can do it quickly. You can use all the uh, data on internet and create a quick presentation and submit it and you will present it during the next science class so use all the information all the data and you have to make sure that uh, you have a picture so you can download a picture and make sure you uh, attach it uh, with the landform okay so the picture is important and uh, make sure the presentation looks it looks swell. I mean, it looks good. It looks, it looks like you're uh, presenting to a uh, to to a particular group of scientists, as if you're presenting to some uh, people who are working in this field. So the presentation should be professional, and you can do it. You have enough time. You have about thirty, yeah, thirty minutes. So you can search the information. Yeah, you can do it on Canva, PowerPoint, exactly the way you can do it. So just search and submit. So you will have to submit it here. And you can do it quickly. You can do it right away. So let's not leave it for, you know, some other time because okay so you have to submit it here advanced landforms on earth okay okay just do it just go ahead with the tools at your disposal do your research and uh, Ava you can do the same you already know what the task is and you can submit your document here it's easy so let me show you once again so you actually go to 4.02 there is this file document file like you click on this and there is a attachment you press on this plus and you attach your file and i'll be able to view it okay Uh, is that understood? All the best, Jay, and all the best, Yasmina. Do you have any questions, Eva? No? No, oh. not really. Okay. Lisa, is it clear for you? Yeah. All right, so yeah continue with this and uh, then after we are after i give you a grade so after i give you a grade for 4.02 then we'll continue with heat flow and after heat flow we have one last topic and module four will be done so so yeah just just enjoy i mean you can uh, you can help one another but but let me make sure i mean you don't have to submit it in a group 
you can help one another but you have to basically uh, every one of you has to submit a separate file a single file so uh eva will submit her own file i mean her own presentation other students will submit their own presentation so all right
Uh, any submissions so far? Did anyone submit? Well, submission is only one of the parts. You have to present it in front of the class as well. And we'll do that in the next class. I mean, whenever we have a science class. But for now, let me check. I if can't print it out because my mom is working right now. So when she's done working, I won't print it out and then I'll do it. Uh, sorry, Eva, can you repeat that? I'm saying like I can't print uh, the paper out, so I can't write it because my mom is working. So I'll do it right after my mom is done working. Printed. Uh, you don't actually have to print. I mean, uh, you have you had to submit it in the. You just had to make a presentation or some document. So. Well, for me, it says print. Print? No, I don't think you have to print. Like, what do you have? It to be, so I don't know. Let me show you once again. So your task was uh, what I mentioned in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you check that out. And now uh, you have basically. You have basically patterns of change and 4.4.02, which is so you have to submit, you have to make a submission, you don't have to print. Hmm, so weird. You have, I don't know why it says to print online. You have to submit your work here. I mean, 4.02, go to module four. And then you have advanced landforms on Earth. And then you have to submit your work. Okay. Can you see it? So you just have to submit it. Yeah. Oh, you have a kitty cat. Yeah, I mean, uh, I had to feed her, so that's why I turned my camera off. And yeah, I have a few cats, and I like cats a lot. Yeah, same. I have two cats and four chickens. So <laughs> yeah, how do they uh, how do they behave with each other, cats and chickens? Um. Well, what well, I have one year old little kitten and she she uh we let her outside we have a little gateway for the chickens so they don't like attack each other but um okay. the, the, the cats they listen they 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 um they just look at them sometimes spicy can scare them a little bit by coming a little closer to them but really the chickens are just like minding their own business just literally like Pecking at the ground, finding food. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, my house is like a whole zoo because we got wood storks. We feed wood storks. We also have lizards that we take care of. We also have um, lizards. Squirrels. Wow. We also have squirrels that we take care of. We also have cats and chickens. So we got like five animals in here. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I once so had a bird, I, I, I had a bird, a parrot, and it died because one of my cats actually killed it. So, oh no! Uh, yeah, from that uh, from that moment onwards, you know, I have no other birds or other pets in the house because there are cats mostly. You know, I mean, I do have like three cats. I mean one Three. of them is oh. one of them is away right now and i had a few other babies and i gifted them to my friends and other people so yeah so yeah. my mom and dad um when i was in born uh we uh they had a small little house and they had like so many cats there so it's like they had to give them away i think they had like 15 to 20 cats 
in wow. a small house. Well, yeah. but cats are, you know, they are good for your mental health. It's always to have, it's always to, it's always good to have some pets around you. And yeah, so this is where you have to submit actually, Eva. And the class is almost over. So if you have any difficulties, you know, you can ask other students as well. So this is basically simple. And I recommend you to share your email with Yasmina because you're working on a, a project together. So there's okay. a project in physical education. And she might also guide you how to actually submit this. This is basically simple. You go to this document, you know, this document type icon 4.02 you click here okay. you you press this file this file button i cannot do it because i'm not a student uh enroll so uh you put this plus sign and you submit your work and then i evaluate it all righty i can do uh, that i just don't know if i can sh share my email with her because she's not here uh yeah, she will join for the physical education class. It's okay. All right, so I'll talk about her. I'll, I mean, I'll talk about, I'll talk with her. All right. Yes, yeah, see you for the next class. We have a 15 minute break. Okay.
Uh, all right, students. Now we have the final class of the week, and you will be you will be good to go for a weekend afterwards. So uh, let's uh, let's deal with the physical education class and. And I'm not sure why other students left early. Neither do I. <laughs> yeah, it's OK. They might have some activities to do because, because yeah, I mean, I get excited when it's a weekend. So I don't work during the weekends. I, I have. Uh, I mean, like, hobby. I have, like, I I actually am going on, I'm actually leaving my home, actually, and going to my, uh, and going to my uh, grandma and granddad today. So, technically, mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be leaving, but I haven't left yet, so I don't know why they're leaving. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I mean, yeah, maybe you're leaving a bit later, you're leaving in the afternoon. All right, well, perhaps they may join back, maybe. It's not like it though, but I don't know. Juliana asked to let her in the meeting. Well, I cannot see her, Ariana. I didn't get any request uh, to allow in the to allow her in the meeting, so I don't see Juliana. Hold on, I'm going to be right back. My mom's calling me. Yeah, it's okay. So, Ariana, I can't see her and I can't allow her. I don't know where she is. I can't see it in the... I can't see it in the meeting. Yeah, she's here. Welcome uh, back, Jay. We thought you already left and you're enjoying your weekend. So... So yeah, I was talking about the project. Let me see where you can submit it. And PE grade six, seven. Okay, here we are. We are on team zone be a good sport mm -hmm. so we are done with this and and the project is very simple i mean i mentioned about this project you have to basically com complete this collaboration worksheet you have to click on this uh, link and you'll be able to see the collabor collaboration worksheet so this is basically there to foster a spirit of collaboration within yourself and um, this is okay so you also have to paste, copy and paste the email conversation exchange. So you know the members of your team and this is, uh, the worksheet is, the worksheet is there and let me see where you can submit it. So you can submit it just a moment you can submit it in 3.06 maybe let me check so, all right i'm back <laughs> All right, so activity log, there is an activity log. Okay, yeah, here you go. 
so module activity log uh, it is visible to everyone so 3.06 you can submit it here 3.06 activity log so you go to activity log and you submit uh 3.02 which is be a good sport you submitted there so i hope you remember your partners uh for the collaboration I didn't even find her. she's not even on uh, sorry she's not even on my partner she ain't even on <laughs> I mean, you have enough time. There is, uh, I don't know, maybe she had some appointment with the doctor. I'm not sure. I mean, she had an appointment yesterday with the doctor. Maybe she will be here on Monday, so you can talk to her. You know, Ava don't we have to and... finish it on Monday, though? No, you don't have to finish it by Monday. You can finish it. Uh, you have enough time, so you can submit it uh till the end of the next week or the week after that so there are no okay, deadlines I know who but... my partner is but what is her name no uh, it's yasmina okay yeah and yesterday we talked about individual and dual activities and uh eva was talking about kayaking and other things so now we have some now we have some tips you know first of all when it comes to biking always ride on the right side so this is one of the rules of the road whenever you're biking you need to ride on the right side and always ride with the flow of traffic so you need to see the flow of traffic if it's going in a particular direction you need to follow that flow of tra traffic and you don't have to go in the opposite direction of the traffic you might end up getting hurt in a hospital or somewhere so this is a very terrible thing to do always see the flow of the traffic and ride on the right side and the second one is yield to traffic at all times so one has to yield to traffic i mean uh, by yielding it is it basically means that uh, to be you know aware about the traffic to somehow uh, to somehow see in which particular direction the traffic is going and uh, automobiles are given the right of the way so uh, if you see a road you know there are there is always some space which is left for other vehicle to take over so you need to be aware of these things and stay to the right of faster moving traffic so you need to stay always to the right and when you stay to the right this basically gives way on the other side for other the fa for other faster moving vehicles so left lane left lane is for the fastest traffic and right lane is for the slow traffic so you need to remember these things for biking whenever you're biking remember that left lane is for the left is for the fastest traffic and right is for the slow traffic and then you need to be aware about the blind spots so when whenever you're driving there are some blind spots spots that uh, an automobile's mirror can cannot actually see you the driver cannot see you so you need to be aware of these blind spot, spots and another essential thing is the signal so uh, there are always right turns and left turns so there is usually a signal that a driver makes if he's turning right or if he's turning left and you need to uh, you need to be aware of this and if you are on a bike you need to stick your left or right 
So you have left, left, uh, left arm for the left turn and the right arm for the right turn. So you can use these directions and it will make uh, biking more safe and more fun. And another essential thing is obey all traffic signs and lights. So traffic signs and lights are important to follow and uh, bicycles are vehicles on the road so bicycles are considered as vehicles as well if you do not obey the traffic rules you might get a ticket and but i hope you follow the rules and you avoid getting a ticket and your bike <clears throat> there are some things you can do with your bike you can adjust the seat of your bike so that there is one inch of clearance while you're standing. So this is, this makes it, you know, this makes biking much more uh, comfortable if you have this one inch of clearance while you're standing. And you need to make sure that the tires of your bike are properly inflated, that there is enough air uh, inside the tires you need to check it you need to check the pressure and everything and important thing you need to check the brakes so when you are on a bike you need to you need to make sure that your brakes are working properly and the chains of the bike should be tight and pedals should be secure and you need to use reflectors at night and you need to use proper clothing and if you have loose, if you have loose clothes, you know, if you have loose pants, uh, they can get caught. They can get caught in the spokes. And important thing, you need to wear a helmet. So most of the injuries that people get when they are biking are head injuries. So, uh, hand, to, in order to avoid uh head injuries one has to wear helmet all the time so this is some of the basics of biking and before moving to the next one i want to ask uh, you guys uh which which one of you is a fanatic about biking like who who goes out for biking every day, almost every day? Lisa, okay. Uh, I'm not Ava. sure if uh, motorcycling is considered biking as well. I guess some people call it that, but I don't know. I ride like an actual physical bike. I ride a motorcycle. I think it's the same thing. No, I mean, they, it's, it's, uh, these words are interchangeable. So sometimes you call it a bike as well, the bicycle. So you don't have to be confused about this. Yeah, cycling, cycling is the common word used, bicycling. So do you, do you follow the rules, Lisa? Or do you go no. against the rules? Sorry? I don't wear anything. I don't wear a helmet or any protection. I just kind of uh ride right the motorcycle yeah i mean you can you can actually do that if there is not enough traffic so do you i always ride only when there's traffic sorry i only ride when there is traffic it feels more fun ah it feels more <laughs> fun um my dad my dad almost died not that long ago because uh this woman he was riding his motorcycle like he was going like 60 right and then this one girl came up and then like she wearing a red light or something and then he crashed like 60 miles an hour into a brick wall and he broke his oh. like shattered his helmet and all that and tore up um his leg and his arm and stuff exactly elijah so lisa you need to take notes of uh, what elijah is saying so uh, i hope you're taking notes lisa so everything that elijah said you know it can it can result in fractures 
So although it might and be it fun, you know, been ready is, for a few years, nothing ever happened. Well, you never know. I mean, there's a lot of traffic and you're not following the rules. Um, I don't know. There is a probability you might end up with some fractures as well sooner or later if you don't follow the rules. I, I pray to God that doesn't happen, but you need to be uh, cautious about, you know, traffic. Right. So, so yeah, I mean, uh, if you don't have a helmet, if you don't follow the rules, you can you can try bicycling, but you can go into an area where there's absolutely no traffic. Because if there is a traffic and you're just, you know, being reckless, you might end up uh, fracturing every single bone in your body. And you might also, there is also high chances that if you get a head injury, you might end up dead. So although it might seem like fun, you know, let's have an adventure and uh, let's put on the headphones and listen to some chill music and, you know, go out on an, uh, on an Odyssey or, you know, just just get this feel like that the bike is a spaceship and you're you're drifting away and you're trying to somehow uh, have fun but actually you need to follow these precautions and rules now moving next to Eva Eva tell us about your uh, biking experience do you follow the rules Eva or you're just like Lisa I follow the rules. I make sure I also don't fall off my bicycle. <laughs> so you have uh, difficulty with the stability, like you're not able to, uh, you're not able to maintain your posture yeah. on the. Yeah, it's yeah. I've been trying to stand on my bicycle lately to paddle so how's it going you making any uh, progress or i or mean like i can it's just sometimes i can fall off <laughs> or i can well, hit a tree or something so it's like i can do it for like about like five uh -huh. seconds and then that's it five seconds okay well lisa can give you some lessons uh lisa uh, Lisa, are you willing to give some lessons to Eva, like how to stand up on the bicycle and, you know, just not fall, not fall from the bicycle? Yeah, do, do, I, do I give it now or do I like add her or something and then tell her, do I like email her or something? Yeah, you can email her, you can, you can tell her like how to improve slowly and uh, how many years, I mean, have you been doing it, Lisa, like uh, the bicycling? Almost. almost, sorry? Almost four. Four, okay. Now, moving to Elijah. Elijah, share your experience with bicycling with us. I mean, your biking experience. Um, I like BMX boarding. I mean, not boarding. I like skateboarding. Um, I like um mountain biking a lot. I like BMX biking, but um, but it's not it's not it's not bicycling. So it's not like you have pedals. Oh, motorcycles. Like, yeah, you have a motorbike. I know. I like that sport oh. as well. Yeah, me uh, me and my dad have a couple of motorcycles and a four wheeler. Wow, interesting. So you have like a garage where you. Uh, where you somehow fix those bikes and you know you just modify them right uh-huh interesting the, the fastest one he has is a suzuki hayabusa no oh, it goes like, yeah, like 300 miles an hour hour yeah i know about that one <laughs> that's so um well i think 300 miles per hour if you're traveling at that speed you 
uh, you are in big trouble even if you make a slight error so if you make a mistake at that speed you know chess it's like all right so do you do you take care of the safety majors elijah or you don't wear a helmet because you have to wear a helmet no i'll wear a helmet you always wear a helmet yeah that's good elijah and i have some friends as well i have some friends as well you know uh, who are into motorbikes and they go on these cross country they go i don't know it's 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 a sport cross country sport so they have these bikes they go across uh, different roads and yeah uh is river there river huh? river do you like biking yeah but my bike got a flat tire and i had to throw it away your bike got, yeah, a, I got a flat, flat tire, tire and the chain broke so we had to throw it away but i might get one there's any well that's well, that that was that was that was not the right thing to do, Leo. I mean, it's it's such a small issue. Uh, the chain it, it keeps happening with the chain and the tire. You could easily fix it. Oh no! But it also was like damaged in other ways. I don't even know. That. So that's why we threw it away anyway. So it's too late. Well, I can understand, but I mean, these things can be easily fixed. A flat, a flat tire or something. I mean, of that sort. So this could be easily fixed. And all right. So now, uh, who's next? Jay. Uh, I think Jay likes horses more than bikes so jay can can you tell us about your experience with biking okay you can't unmute you can't unmute so jay what do you prefer you prefer biking or horse riding i've ridden horse before like three Sorry, uh, was that was that Eva? Yes, that was me. No, uh, I'm I'm so sorry to hear that, Jay. That your horses are dead. Um, oh, no. I'm sorry to hear. Okay, so Yasmina, what about you? Do you like biking? Can you share us about your biking experience and? Uh, do you uh, take care of safety rules and precautions while you're biking? I mean, I don't really bike at all. I mean, like, of course, like, when I have the time to, like, ride a bike, I would ride it. But, like, I don't ride it like that. Like, I don't get a mm -hmm. bicycle for it. Okay. Like, I wouldn't right now go buy a bicycle because I don't like Well, you can, you can rent one. I don't know there is there is some app like you can rent one and you can but it's not a bike it's an electric scooter yeah i'm sorry so there is a difference between biking and you know this electric stuff yeah no that's okay it's, uh, i was about to say yeah. selena no uh, it's fine i um i skate that's what i do like that's what i love doing rather than skating skateboarding or ice skating no not ice skating or um skateboarding it's like you know those like skates like not the four of you like not the four ones the one with like straight like the pro ones like the ones that just have a straight line and you ride like you know those ones i have one and it's like oh you don't know them it's roller skates Roller skates. Uh, roller different. skates. Yeah. yeah, it's like shoes. It's like uh -huh. shoes. You put the. But this one, this one, like you know, ice skating, how it just has a line, like this one's like that line, but with wheels, and it's not like four. It's only a line with wheels, and I, yeah, 
and I've been doing it since I was like six. Uh, let me let me look it up. So what is it like? It's not a skateboard. It's like a shoes. Like you put on a shoes and. It's like yeah, you put. It's like you know the roller blades, like with oh roller blades, the ones with like you know the ones with four wheel like wheels on it. Uh, roller blades with four wheels. No, 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 not with four wheels. Not with four wheels. I'm saying, do you know the ones with four wheels? It's the opposite of that. Yeah. But like ice skating with like just a line of wheels no like separate wheels they're just like together oh okay i got it i'm i'm trying to understand it but i'm trying to picture it but which I, which I sport mean, is it used in it's roller skating it's like where are you it's the same thing as roller uh the, with the four wheels i mean i have it if i you want me to show you it but it's like yeah, I can see, I can see, I can see it. But instead of four, it has it has a line, like yeah. you mentioned. Okay, I got it. Do you see? Did you find it? Yeah, I found it. I found it. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Also, Yasmina, you have to exchange your email. You have to exchange yeah. your email with this, Ava. This you have to share. Is you um, have, you have, sorry, I cannot hear you. I said this. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. I said that um, this account on this electronic, it only does this account because it's my sister's. Because the other one, my mom's using because her work, like there was so much rain, so they closed it. So she's using it on that iPad. So um, I had to take my sister's, and and we're using mm -hmm. her account okay it's fine okay. i guess we can do it on monday yeah you can you can do it on monday it's fine and now moving to our last subject of the day our last subject is ariana so ariana can you tell us about your biking experience and do you enjoy this sport biking and are you taking any lessons from lisa um I, I i don't really bike anymore but i used to but me and my family we just usually used to go um like on trails and bike ride mm -hmm. so you don't do it anymore but you used to do it right yeah i did uh when when you used to do it in the past did you take care of safety precautions um yeah um we would just like not go on the road by ourselves okay <clears throat> that's good now we're done with this uh biking the next one is kayaking so kayaking you know everyone who is going for kayaking they need to wear a life jacket so can anyone tell me what is the purpose of a life jacket so if you don't um so you don't drown if like a wave comes or you, don't over, die. Or if you don't um or if you don't know how to swim so yeah, you can float everyone every every child knows that but can can anyone tell me how does it actually work um it's well, when uh, there's air inside uh, to give you a float uh it's like um it floats so uh yeah it floats do, you have to press, do you have to press something or it floats i mean it it happens automatically it happens automatically it's just like the material it's made out of yeah um Sorry? I mean, it depends on what life jacket it is, because sometimes you do have to pull something to activate it. But yeah, sometimes are are flammable, so it depends on what uh, life jacket it is. But sometimes there's exactly. also life guards. Life, what are they? Life guards? Yeah, that that are also there. That also give you a life jacket. Also. Yeah, but how does it help uh, to save us from drowning? Like. Elijah, you mentioned it keeps you afloat. Like, 
what actually happens like a person is inside the water and how does well, this thing the person that's in the water they would if they have a life jacket on they uh they would actually have to turn the thing on from my experience and that would uh press all the air into them as so make it big and so that's how they can flow up i don't know uh, if i'm explaining this right do you agree elijah lisa do you agree with this take um i didn't really understand it neither did i <laughs> okay so lisa you were saying something no i just like i would i would just i was just gonna surprise at some at something and then i and then i realized i was unmuted so okay but it gives air to you so you can float that's all i know it's just the thing strapped to your chest so well a thing that floats on top of the water so um it holds your body weight above the water so you can like float basically yeah actually it's is basically made of a light material you know that actually stays on the top and uh you basically display some water and that's how it actually works but wonderful job guys you actually know how this thing works so first of all kayaking tip number one whenever you're doing kayaking you need to wear a life jacket even the best swimmers so even if there is a best swimmer like me he can be knocked unconscious in an accident so if if you yeah. get hit by a rock or something you can be unconscious and you know you you can literally drown so yeah, very so that's, why, um, that's why if you ever go kayaking the boat that you have even if you don't want to wear it it's always uh, on the kayak with you so it's good to know yeah you it is mandatory it is important and you have to wear sunblock and glasses because the water which reflects sunlight onto your skin on your eyes it can have some effect and you need you need to use an emergency waterproof bag and you have to bring your mobile phone flashlight medical kit food and drinking water and you need to know how to swim and a life jacket will help but it does not replace swimming so first of all even yeah, before you're just gonna be floating <laughs> you're just gonna be yeah. stuck floating if you don't know how to swim <laughs> exactly and then I mean, you and then the people don't have to get a rope and just pull you out <laughs> yeah i mean you, you need to know how to swim so you know kayaking is a water sport so it doesn't make any sense like you don't you don't know how to swim and you're on a boat and paddling it so basically swimming is a life-saving skill you should know how to swim and paddling i, I teach someone how to swim once wow actually i remember how my father taught me how to swim he actually uh threw me into the you know it was a small lake and he just threw me into the water and that was my first lesson how i uh, learned to swim and same teacher yeah really i know how to swim i'm just trying to you know uh try to like breathe uh, not breathe i meant uh try to uh go underwater without plugging my nose that's like the only pro problem i have Mm -hmm. yeah so river have you ever went for kayaking no they don't do it either. they don't do that in puerto rico or nothing you don't do that in puerto rico yeah we don't do that we go we, we go, go surfing like we go to we go we go with like a piece of wood or pivot say and then we just get on it and then just i don't know whatever we're broke a piece of wood you just get on a piece of wood like a log wooden log and you just 
Yeah, it's funner. It's funner than the the a kayak. It's way funner. Like you fall in the water out of like like moving an inch. It's fun. Interesting. So now about the paddling, you need to hold the paddle with the concave side. So concave basically means inward. So inward, you have to hold the pedal side uh, facing towards you, and you have to make sure that your hands uh, slightly, uh, you know, they should be slightly more than the shoulder width apart. So your hands should be more than the shoulder width apart, slightly more. And you have to sit upright and brace your feet on the footrest. And as you pull with one hand, you have to push with the other. This is important in kayaking. So when you push with another, you have to pull, uh, pull with other. Or if you uh, pull with another one, you have to push with the other. So you also have to twist your torso like your torso you have to twist it and this will help you use your back muscles strong back muscles and it will also provide a relief for your arms and as the pedal reaches your torso uh, you have to lift the blade out of the water and repeat doing the same and yeah that's about kayaking and now individual and dual sport advantages so these are some advantages this is cricket like i told you about cricket you see this guy in the white the last picture with these three stems and this uh, cricket bat and a green field so this is cricket i mean i used to play it but you cannot play cricket without without a team of 11 players so you need 11 players and so one advantage of individual and dual sports over team sports is that you can practice more easily so sometimes you don't have the entire team and if you play uh individual or dual sport is going to be more uh more easy and you're gonna practice more often and you will enjoy the activity even if the other players are not available and when you're ready to play it's much easier to find uh, one person to play with rather than the entire team so these are some of the advantages of individual and dual sports and another advantage is that many individual and dual sports have similar rules so they have the similar rules equipment play areas or objective whenever you play individual or dual sport they have they have the same objective and you need to learn some basic rules or skills for one activity and you can use them in other activities so the basic example is if you learn to roller skate you will easily learn ice skating as well and roller skating and ice skating these skills will be useful for you and if you enjoy baseball you can also try cricket so baseball is similar to cricket uh, i mean if you enjoy baseball you can easily yeah, I play baseball all the time with my mom and dad yeah if you play baseball eva you should look up for cricket so Cri you can cricket i heard that actually i think i played it once that was it i don't know what happened yeah you need to give cricket a try and these games are similar baseball and cricket are similar and they they have the same uh, strategy so in baseball you have home run right home run is like you get the maximum score right yeah mm -hmm. home run is when you literally throw the baseball over over literally like over to the field that's a home run where you can uh we can basically just take a run all the way to the next lap so they technically you can run to there's like little little, little squares i guess you can call it or triangles that you would uh and it's, they're, called it's, it's, they're called oh, bases they're called bases and a home run is when you hit the ball and it goes in the crowd so they can't retrieve it so that's a home run. 
So if, exactly. they, if they can't retrieve it, you can. It doesn't matter. You don't have to run. You're not going to get out because you hit it in the car, and then you can um, go home, which is the first base. Yeah. So yeah, and yeah. that's a point a or whatever. I mean, Elijah. Yeah. Uh, Eva was actually explaining this uh, this to me. She was saying the same things. So but yeah. So yeah, thank you so much, Eva. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. Elijah is maybe a professional state level baseball player, so he thought to uh, what do you call it? What's the term? Mansplain. Yeah, he thought to mansplain it, and I don't know if that's a word. Yeah. So basically. Uh, whenever you have this home run, I, I actually know what a home run is. So similarly in a cricket, you have, uh, you have, you have, uh, you don't call it home run, you call it six. So six is the maximum score that you can get in a cricket match. Never heard of it. You should try it. So Never home run is basically Never. similar. Uh, home run is basically similar to six in a uh, cricket match. So, so thank you so much, Elijah, for explaining bases to me and other things. And yeah, guys, this was wonderful. And I wish you everyone. Uh, I wish you a happy weekend. I wish you Bye. to have some to have some fun this weekend and some activities, Thank visit you. your grandma or, you know, just go out in the mountains. Just yeah, take care, I'm actually Jay. going to South Carolina actually to, uh, to visit my grandmother and uh, granddad. Also my uncle, my uncle and my aunt and my cousin today. So yeah, mm -hmm. and that has mountains there because since I live in Florida, there aren't so many, there's hills, but not mountains, so yeah. Well, all the best. I mean, I hope you enjoy your time uh, in the you. mountains and the hills. Take care, so, Eva. Yeah. I'm Yasmina, going to be... Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah, so you can you can leave, and I'll end this meeting. And uh, take care. Yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, uh, um, at Monday, um, you're probably going to see me in a different room because I'm going to be uh, out. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. All right, take care. Bye. Bye-bye.